Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm excited to be back. I spent some good quality time with the little ones during the summer, but we are going to show you the easiest lasagna recipe ever. You can make it with noodles, or you can also do it with zucchini if you are trying to be carb friendly. We're gonna go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. I like to use um, ground beef, the 90-10. And then I also like to do ground turkey. Now you, if you don't like ground beef, you could do two pounds of ground turkey or two pounds of ground beef. But what I like to do is one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground turkey. You're gonna need ricotta cheese. You are going to need one egg, mozzarella cheese. I get the big bag, 32 ounces. I get two marinara sauces or spaghetti sauces. My two favorites, I like to mix them. You can choose whatever flavor you like at the store. The ragu chunky sauce, tomato, garlic, and onion, and the Newman's Own roasted garlic. It's so good. Two zucchinis, three if you're not going to use any noodles, but I'm gonna show you half and half how to do it with zucchini, also how to do it with lasagna. Get the oven ready lasagna, it makes it so much faster, so much easier. An onion, fresh garlic, and the seasonings. You need all the seasonings, I think. More flavor, the better the recipe. Oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley. Pan to spray in the pan so that your lasagna does not stick. A cutting board, a mixing bowl, a nine by 13 dish that you can put in the oven. So what we're gonna start with doing is cooking our ground turkey and our ground beef. We're just gonna brown this up in the pan. While that meat is browning, Sejo is helping, I'm gonna cut up some onion and some garlic, and we're gonna toss that into the meat to give a little bit more flavor. If you don't like onion or garlic, you do not have to add it. However, I will say it adds such good flavor. I like to do a whole onion. I use about two to three cloves of garlic. are going to add this to the ground beef. We've got it all chopped up, ready to go. While we've got the ground beef, the ground turkey, the onions and the garlic browning, we're gonna cut up some of our zucchini. We're gonna wash this off really quickly. And what I like to do, if you're replacing the noodles with the zucchini, which is what we do sometimes when we are doing lower carb diets, I'll cut off the ends. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut it in half one time, and then we're just gonna cut it long ways, almost like long noodles. I'd say about a third of an inch thick. You'll probably need three of these if you are using no noodles, you're just using the zucchini. Now that we have the meat nice and browned up with the onions and the garlic, we are going to add our marinara sauce. While that marinara and ground beef all warm up and mix together, we are going to make our ricotta cheese mixture. What you're gonna need is an egg, your ricotta cheese, and then all of your seasonings. We're gonna crack that egg into our mixing bowl. We've got our egg in there. Now we are gonna add about half of this container of ricotta cheese. This is a 15 ounce. Some people love ricotta cheese, some people don't. My husband is not a big fan, so I do not add very much ricotta cheese. You could add the whole container. We're just gonna mix all of that together. We're gonna add, say, Joe, you wanna help me here, love? We're gonna add all the seasonings. I love oregano, so I always add this. I like to add the parsley, not necessarily for flavor, but it's more green, so it adds a really pretty green color. And then I use onion powder and garlic powder in everything. It makes almost all recipes taste good. All right, girlfriend, add that stuff. And my husband, Michael, really loves oregano, so we 
always add lots of oregano, right? Daddy likes oregano, doesn't he? Especially on pizza. Oh yeah, so good. All right, we're gonna mix all that together. Now we have all of our ingredients. We're about ready to start layering, but first I always like to spray the pan with some Pam. But just make sure that nothing sticks to the pan. It's easy to serve everyone. I'm just gonna spray that up. All right, good to go. Now we're gonna start layering with our meat mixture and our marinara sauce. Y'all, this is so easy, I promise. We're just gonna put a layer of this meat mixture on the bottom of the pan. It doesn't have to be too thick. We just want it to kind of layer. Oh my gosh, look at mommy, I'm making a big old mess. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes that happens when we cook, right? We make a yeah. little bit of a mess and then we clean it up when we're done. I'm sorry but I'm not helping you clean because I do not <gasps> help you. you gotta help. You're my sous chef, girl. You're my <laughs> sous chef. <laughs> All right, now we have our first layer. Our next layer is going to be either your zucchini or your noodles. Now we're gonna do half and half. Say, Joe, you wanna put one in, honey? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in. And put that one over there? Yeah. Right there. Perfect. And then we're going to take, so important, oven ready lasagna. That way you don't have to pre-cook it. And then I like to just cut them in half. And we're just gonna layer those in. So you, Joe, you wanna try doing it, love? Yeah. All right, cut that in half and you're gonna put them in there. That's okay. That didn't work out I'm so gonna bad. make it about even. And then what we'll do is if there's not enough room on the end here, is I'll just slice it in half long ways. Just kind of make it fit. After you have your zucchini or your noodles, you're going to add the ricotta cheese mixture and you're just gonna lightly spread this over your zucchini or noodles. You can do a thick or a thin layer. I usually go with a thin layer because again, hubby does not like ricotta cheese that much. And then our last layer is mozzarella cheese. Ooh, I didn't put it on. You want to help put some on? Scooch up here so it doesn't spill. So you're going to do a layer of meat sauce with the marinara, a layer of your noodles or your zucchini, your ricotta mixture, and then mozzarella cheese. And you are going to repeat until you fill the pan up. Super simple, super easy, so much fun. We don't want too much because we're going to add more layers. Now that you have it all layered and assembled, you're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. You wanna check it, but probably for about 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on your oven, how fast it cooks. I like to check it around 25 to 30 minutes. Once it's bubbling and it gets that golden brown top, it's good to go. Before I put it in the oven though, while it's cooking, I like to cover it with aluminum foil for the first 25 to 30 minutes. Then take that foil off and let it brown up on top. It's so good. And that is how you make the easiest lasagna recipe ever. You can do it gluten-free without the noodles, also makes it low carb. Thank you so much for helping me, sis. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.